Okay, so based on these three parameters, your domain will decide towards manufacturing people and as well as general users. Okay, so that's what embedded is very popular. And coming to this uh, processor's history and who introduced this processor actually, and as well as so coming to embedded domain, you will mostly concentrate on processors. And coming to the general processor, what is the general behavior of processor in the application? Which always uh, requires the binary information as an input. And what it is going to provide, which, uh, which will provide the binary output. What is the use of giving binary input and taking binary output from the processor? Uh, coming to the processor, electronic system, which is not directly accessing your input input device and which is not controlling your output device directly which always require the information in ones and zeros and as well as which is going to provide uh, ones and zeros output what is the use for the end user which is which is behaving like this because which is not taking my sensor signal from input and which is not controlling my motor directly so as an engineer you have to think of uh, whenever you are giving signal from sensor your motor has to turn on Okay, for that your processor will not directly help us. For, for this information, uh, to read the information from your sensor, you need one PPI. So what is your PPI here, which, is, which means Programmable Peripheral Interface Device, which will take care of taking the signal from sensor and which will convert to your information to zeros and ones. Then your processor is going to provide your information zeros and ones and this side also you need one PPI. Then for this PPI, you people can connect your output also. And since once it, your sensor which is giving you information to PPI, which is converting your zeros and ones, the processor never directly take an action on your applied input. So what you require again, you people have to send some commands. So what action you have to take on the applied data. So as an engineer, you have to pass some commands to the device, then only it will take a proper action. So what is the commands meaning here, which is a program, which is the instructions. So whatever the instructions you are giving to the processor, then it will take a proper action on this data, then it will provide your output lines. Uh, then this PPI will take care of uh, converting your uh, digital inputs to required format output. Okay, so with the help of electron, if, if you want to design one electronic system using processor, you people need this simple construction. Whenever you are looking for developing an application with processor, you require PBIs and you require external command storage purpose memory. <coughs> Once you observe your desktop computer, you will find all the parts inside because for separately processor and around processor in the motherboard, you will find so many additional components. What is the need of all these additional components? So because your processor never read the directly data from keyboard and which is not displaying your picture on monitor directly. You need your one, one device for taking this data from your keyboard and the chip VGA which is used for converting your zeros and ones to picture format. Then this VGA will give the output to screen. And for program storage here commands means what? Program. And this program means what here? With respect to us, this is the OS. And this operating system we are storing with separate hard disk with respect to desktop computer. Okay, so this is the scenario you will find for any processor based applications. So, and this processor, who is the inventor of this processor and electronics? So, which would be introduced by Intel Corporation in 1972. So, they introduced the first microprocessor with 4 bit capacity. So, the series is uh, 4001. And next, they introduced 8 bit, which is 8085. And next, they introduced 16 bit, which is uh, 8018-6286 and 32 bit Pentium and 64 bit I series. So, these are the generations you will find towards processors. So, these are the advancements towards processor, and the inventor of this process is Intel. Still, if you purchase any computer from outside, but the processor from which company? Intel only. Because these people have some rights and towards license. They are maintaining still for processor case. They don't provide any licenses to other manufacturers. Still, these people are the leaders towards uh, processors manufacturing. So, for any application, uh, you people have to design this kind of construction, this kind of arrangement you need for any simple application in the electronics. But once, 
So this is the problem for all manufacturing people. Of course, application means not only computer, right? You will find different applications for different different reasons. So always I no need to construct this kind of uh, uh, more mechanism or more circuitry in the electronics. So that's why these people introduced one more programmable device by integrating all these things on a single chip. That's what your controller. The controller become one chip solution for everything. They inserted or they embedded inside one processor that means as a CPU and some memory and they integrated some IO ports because for connecting input output peripherals and some other features. So because always the electronics people will concentrate on the three important parameters what you discussed previously cost, size and power consumption. So with the help of these processor based applications you need this much of complexity and which is not supporting us, which is not possible to connect any input and output directly. And for program storage, you need external memory. So that's what the people focused on, uh, the integration of this, all these minimum requirements and they designed one more programmable device and that is called as controller. And which is also introduced by which organization? Which is also from Intel only. This is in 1983. Before 1983, all the applications they developed with only processor. So that's what the microprocessor uh, uh, in embedded technology, the controllers are very popular rather than processors. So because once you want to design one application with processor, you need this much of complexity by adding additional peripherals, so additional memory, and for because which will not support input output ports, which not supports memory, which will not support any other features. But coming to these controllers, so which are supporting the minimum requirement of memory and minimum requirement of I.O. ports, which are all available on the controller. And these controllers are becoming one chip solution for every application. Like if you go for washing machine or refrigerators, or if you look for any application, uh, you will find these controller families only. So, but, so this license given by the Intel company for all other manufacturers like Atmel, Philips, Samsung, Motorola, so these people started their own microcontrollers with the different different features by following the standards of Intel organization. So that's what in embedded technology, the microcontrollers are very popular and that's the way you people have to update your skills towards controller and their families and towards language development, you have to update with the C language skills. So that is more important to the engineer in the embedded system. Thank you.